that that perp that perp absolutely just fucking snuck up on me. <laughs> Fuck it up. Oh, just really, I forgot that y'all can't actually see me at the moment. Oh, hold, hold on. Let me let me rectify that. If I can. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. Oh, fuck it. How big do I usually have this thing? And yes, I know my hair is a mess. I genuinely need a fucking haircut, though. Like, look at this shit. Like, you know, like, I'm fine with having long hair. You know, I usually really like it, but I realize just how awful it is when, like, it's at that length where it's, like, getting into your fucking ears. It's actually awful. I hate it so much. Literally the worst thing ever. So yeah, I I might get a haircut. Be like, hey mom, cut my hair or something. Cause I, I'm I'm tired of it being this long. Or I'll just cause I have this thing, and then I'll just fucking put the and then put the other one, and then just I don't know, probably do. I I might realistically do that. Don't tell me, I cause I will absolutely will. Um, let me get you all a display capture so that we can see. Okay, we're good. Over here, just making sure that. Oh, wait, no, I meant here. And then here. There we go. Wait, why does it still say I'm playing Minecraft? What the. Hold up. Hold the goddamn phone. Well, looks like we're playing Minecraft, boys. I, you know, wanted to learn Japanese, wanted to study, get my minimum hour of studying a day done, but turns out... <sighs> fuck it. Just do Japanese instead. Uh, but no, like, actually, no. Okay, so, hold on. This is, a. Uh, I actually wanted. I wanted to show you all something. I don't remember what it was, because it's already left my brain. Oh right, this. So I looked this up literally. Uh, I literally just looked this up because I was like, man, I want. I want to be able to like know what, because you know, I, I, it, I I'm primarily and. Only an English speaker as of right now. I'm not fluent in Japanese yet, so. And I was like, oh, I don't know what our sentence structure is, but I could read it. I know it when I see it, right? And so I looked this up. I'll just open this tab, this tab. It doesn't really matter which one I open up. And I read this. It's just a matter of mastering the sentence structure. When it comes to basic sentence structure in Japanese, it is an SOV language. Well, in English, it's an SVO language, and SOV means subject, object, verb. Whereas, where is subject, verb, object? So, hold on. Mm. Usually, the basic structure of Japanese sentences is considered to be an SOV, subject, verb, object. In English, I, sushi, eat. Uh, this description makes it easier to compare with English. Uh, for example, which follows the SVO structure, but the truth is that this comparison will, is mostly meaningless because the two languages function in completely different ways. The SOV language label is also wrong sometimes, and it is not uncommon in Japanese to see sentences with the object appearing before the subject. No wonder it seems confusing. Instead, of trying to fit a Japanese shaped peg into an English shaped hall. Oh, let's start again. Firstly, in English, the main the main pieces of the sentence go in the specific order. The person doing the action, the subject, uh, is first followed followed by the word that describes the action. The verb. Example eating. Then the then the thing that the action is done to, the object, sushi. In English, 
all, it is the it is the word order that tells us who did what. So, John eats sushi. John is eating sushi. Whereas the Japanese sentences are structured around grammatical markers called particles. Each particle indicates how the word before it relates to it, to other words. In the sentence, in the sentence, usually the verb, ah, uh, usually to the verb, the verb appears last, but to order the other words can be ve can vary because it is the particles, not other word or not word order. That tells us who did what. For example, a basic sentence might have a topic which is often the same as the subject, followed by the particle wa, then an object with the particle wo, and finally the verb. This basic word ordering is why Japanese is often considered an SOV language. But as long as the right particles are used the, with the right words, the actual order of the words can be changed. In this article, I break it all down and show you exactly how Japanese sentences work using plenty of examples, yada, 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 and then, you know. Let's start by looking at basic sentences using the verb des, pronouncing des, which is def, which is effectively equivalent to the English verb be, r, am, be, I'll be, am, are, or is. Sentence using des usually Follow this basic sentence structure. Topic. Wa. Something that describes the topic. Des. Here are key examples. I am a person. Watashi wa hito des. This is a car. Kore wa kuruma des. The car is red. Kuruma wa akai des. The first step to understanding this structure is knowing what the wa is. Wa is what is known as a particle. Particles are like are like markers that identify what the role, what role each word or phrase plays in a sentence. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send that to Chase because I remember he asked about that at some point. Ah. Uh. The topic is basically the thing that is being talked about in the sentence and usually refers, uh, appears near the beginning and in our examples above, the things that are being, uh, that are being talked about are I, this, and the car. Respectively, the topics of these sentences in Japanese are Watashi, Kore, and Kuruma. Uh, the topic of Japanese sentences is very similar to what other languages refer to as the subject. The subject of a sentence is the person or thing that does the action described by the main verb in the sentence. These are, in fact, slightly different concepts, but for now, we'll treat them as being the same as to keep things simple. Particles like wa do not exist in the English language, but they, but they are the backbone of the Japanese grammar. We'll look at particles in more detail soon. These sentences also show us another important rule that applies to all Japanese sentences. The main verb comes at the ends of the sentence. In all other above examples, the verb des, which takes the form of is or am in the English translations. However, this rule also applies for other verbs which are like which will which we will look at shortly. First, let's look at another. First, let's look. Uh, let's take another look at the first two sentences above. Text with the same formatting has the same meaning. I am a person. Watashi wa hiro hito des. So watashi I person am. But you'd say I am a person because I watashi. And person. I'm a person. This is a car. Kore. This. Wa. 
or yeah, kore wa kuruma desu. So, kore, this, this is car. This is a car. First of all, we can see that wa has no English equivalent. This is because its entire purpose is to show that watashi or kore, so I or whatever I'm talking about, is the topic of these sentences. That is, wa defines these words as the topic. See? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, in English there is no need for for a particle like wa because the subject of the of a sentence can be determined based on the word order. We'll look at it more closely in the next section. Secondly, since to means person and kuruma means car, we can see that there is no Japanese equivalent of a. It's implied. The particle a and and the do not exist in Japanese. What this means is that the sentences this is a car and this is the car would both be kore wa kuruma desu. There is no different differentiation. Uh, this makes things simpler in some ways, but can be hard to get used to if you spent your entire life speaking English or similar languages, as not having these words can sometimes make sentences feel incomplete. Without them, it can be hard to know if someone is referring to a specific car or just any car. There are other ways to specify which car is being talked about, but in many cases this is implied purely by context. This is something you will likely get used to over time. Ah, uh, we now know three very important rules related to Japanese sentence structures. The particle wa defines the topic of the sentence, because the subject is always first. The verb comes at the the main verb comes at the end of the sentence, and the articles a and and the do not exist in Japanese. These rules apply to everything, so using the first two particular part, particular, we can adapt our sentences structure, model them from earlier to this. Topic wa other information verb. When it comes to the verb des, the other information can. Or can just be a noun. Kore wa kuruma desu. Or adjective. Kuruma wa akai desu. In fact, the last thing immediately before this should be either a noun or an adjective. For verbs other than desu, however, basically everything in other information section needs to be accompanied by a particular particle. More about this. For an in-depth look at the word this and sentences that use it, check out my detailed guide here. I recommend finishing this article first though, as it will give away as it will give my explanation of this a lot more context. Uh, I'll, I'll just read this last section because again, this is this is genuinely interesting to me. Uh, actually, we'll read this. I'll read this at the end. I really want to keep reading it, but. But I know that I should, I really, I, it's just that I really like reading that. I really like learning this, you know? That's, that's why I do it. I like doing it because it, it is fun. Oh wait, you know what we didn't do? We didn't test, we didn't test to make sure we still have audio. Ah. Uh. Um, obviously we're going to look up. Car eats cars? Yeah, no, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> Quick pickles, everyday food with Sarah Carey? I don't care about that. Obviously, we won.
Oh, uh, avoid my hand, Jake. Oh. Uh, no, I just want someone. I just want someone chugging high fructose corn syrup. This was made ten goddamn years ago. Hold up. Hey. Hey. Wow. You really don't care about your family, do you? Excuse me. Made in China. That stuff's full of lead. In China. And? Well, you know what they say about it, right? No. What do they say, Je Janine? Yeah, right? No. What do they say? And that it's made from corn, doesn't have any artificial ingredients, and is safe in moderation. Love that talk. <laughs> right? You're in for a sweet surprise. Hey! What? I just... Okay, so I'm, just, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You know, when I was... When I saw... High fructose corn syrup spoof. I figured it was gonna be funny, not clicking through and I see female genitalia mutilation, it's a girl thing. Hmm? Yeah, we'll uh Yeah, we'll uh we'll just we'll just like, you know, just So I hospital work. So I work at the hospital. I'm working in the hospital. So it's obviously this one. Ah. Uh, so, isn't like Asobo? Asobo is like play, and like a Sunday is playing, and then so obviously, uh, so I'm thinking she's gonna say Watashi wa gakko de. Yeah, so watashi wa gakko de asonde imas. Right? Cause she's saying, I, watashi wa gakko to the school. Because the school is the object. And then the verb, play. I play school. I am play, I play at school. Uh, and oknai. Oknai inside, soto outside. So, ah, uh, karewa, karewa oknai. So hold on, karewa oknai o shi. Hmm, I know it's hashite imas. Like this one is ah uh, uh Isha wa in de hataraite imas So this one is gonna be uh Hmm Karewa Kare wa okunai de Kare wa okunai de hashite imas is what this one is gonna be. Kono isha wa byoin de hataraite. Ah, kono so no ano, yeah, gimme, gimme that. Here, closer to you. Ah, uh, there. Wakushi. 
Boku, young boys, and some men only. Atashi, women and girls. Atsu, atsu, aka, oh, Atakushi. Uh, but extra humble. Ore, reserved for men, only used in friendly circumstances. Jibun, myself. Ware ware, us very formal. Anata, standard. Anta, less formal. Now a wife addressed her husband. Oh, uh, Kimi, how you might address a child or a close friend. Okay. I didn't really help me learn that, did I? All right. Shut the fuck up. It's just called on Kore, I mean this, but the difference is Kore is this used on its own, replacing the noun, while Kono is used along with the noun. Right. So you say Kore wa because you don't need a noun before that. But you, if you'd say, it's, yeah, what's the example? Kore wa ama, ama ringo des. This is a sweet apple. Kono ringo wa amai des. This apple is sweet. Yeah, see? This a sweet apple here. This is a sweet apple. Imas. Kono isha wa byouin de hataraite imas. So that's obviously what this doctor works at the hospital. Watashi wa gakkou de asonde imas. I, watashi, walk to the school, what is the object? And playing, I am playing. Or, yeah, I'm playing at school. Kare wa okunai de hashitte imas. There we go, I fucking knew it. It was just in my brain. I just had to fucking dig in there and extract the information out. Boku wa. Because what is happening? Boku wa de. Right? Yeah, because like this is what happens if there's like multiple of something. So. Uh, let me. differentiate local particles de ni and e I thought there was more than that wa ni do go The question for this lesson is, why is the hiragana ha sometimes read as? Uh, hold on. Are small words that indicate relations of words within a sentence? Most of the Japanese learners are not found. Uh, oh, found. It's supposed to be fond of particles, and most teachers don't make things easier. If you have trouble keeping all the particles straight, this guide will illuminate by explaining how perfectly to use them. Take on the quiz at the end to guide your test. Understand the Japanese particles. Don't forget to download the free. No, I don't want to cheat you. I want my life to be harder. Hmm. Uh, wa follows the topic the speaker wants to talk about. Therefore, 
Wah is often called the topic maker particle. The topic is often a grammatical subject, but can be anything including the grammatical object and sometimes the verb. And it may also follow some other particles. Formation, uh, a, wa, b, this, a is b. Oh, okay. Kinu, kino wa ame da da. So I assume kino is rain. It was rainy yesterday. Cause, cause like subject the rain. Wait, 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 wait. Would the subject in the sentence be the rain? Oh wait, yeah, it has. Cause, hold on, let's let's just make sure. Oh no! So the subject is yesterday. Unless it wa kino wa ame da 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 da. It was yesterday rainy. It was rainy yesterday. Oh, kino must just mean it was. Yeah, no, I'd rather not. Oh, oh marks the grammatical object of the sentence. It follows the nouns and the noun phrases. Noun plus o plus the verb. Watashi wa chokko o tabete Oh! It always follows the object of a sentence. It follows nouns and noun phrases. So, Watashi wa chokko o tabete So, watashi, this is the subject, wa, what does have, like, just the particle, to determine what the subject is. Choco, chocolate, o tabete imasu. And you use o because choco is the object in the sentence it's a noun. O tabete imasu. And what happened to it? I eat chocolate. <clears throat> Ta o tabe mas. I eat chocolate. <coughs> Ah, uh, mo function also functions as also or to in English. It is referred to, oh, it is used to indicate that something has previously been stated also holds true that for the item currently under discussion, it replaces ga, wa, or o when used. Mo functions as also or to in English. Okay. It is used to indicate that something has previously been stated also holds true for item currently under discussion. So if you're talking about something you've already said before, use mo or if you're talking about something and you want to bring it up, object one. Object 1, property 1, action 1. Object 2, property 1, action 1. Uh, so, Watashi wa I wa fransujin des. Des is obviously the verb. I'm using is, er, or am. Watashi wa Fransujin des. I am French. Watashi mo. Ah! Watashi mo Fransujin de. Oh! So if I'm like. Uh, so what if you just said Watashi mo? What is it 
it that when you answer no stop why is it that when you answer I am well too you say watashi mo when you answer what your name is you say watashi no hi there mo means also no is a joining word like uh watashi no namai wa means something means my name as in the name of me hmm All of this, because it doesn't seem like this one has God in here for whatever reason. Oh, no, wait, never mind. Yes, it does. Oops. So, Mo is used like also or to. Uh, so, Ni indicates a place toward where someone or something moves. It is preceded by the name of the place and so preceded, so the name of the place is always before, followed by a verb which indicates the moving action, such as iku to go. So it is also used when with giving or receiving verbs and can and can then mean for, from. In the case of a passive verb, it marks the grammatical agent making the same as by. In English, i.e., my wallet was stolen by my brother. I also, it, uh, hold up, that looks familiar. It's e, look, that's e, or i. No, that is a. Uh, Hold up, I know I have that. That's ta. Wait, no, it's not, because that's the. Hold up. I know I fucking have that. Maybe I. Maybe I don't. Or maybe my eyes are just broken. Oh, that's me. Oh, oops, I'm fucking dumb as shit. Uh, me is also used to indicate the location of existence when combined with verbs or... Oh, uh, those are all the other verbs. So, all... Uh, e... And what is... And me? Is that a, no, 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 no. What is that one? Oh, well. Uh, making it in the Japanese version of at in some instances. Place plus me. Kakko ni ikimasu. So, school. Going. To. I go to school. Hmm. E is basically the same as me, except it emphasizes direction over arrival. The main difference is the usage uh, of E is never used as from, by, or at. In addition, the particle of that can also mean E particle directly, whereas it cannot follow me. Location, direction, plus E. Kare e... Kare e tegami o okuri... okuri... okuri Kare e tegami o okuri I sent him a letter. Huh. So if you have a location plus a direction... Hmm. De is used to indicate a location or of an action. 
the former of the performer of the action, the subject, is followed by either the particle wa or ga, and the place is followed by de. However, it cannot, oh, it can't be used with the verbs ni, a, o, or wa. Something like that. Location plus de. Watashi wa ie de hon no yomimasu. So I read at home. Oh, I read books at home? Yeah, there we go. Watashi wa, you know, showing, showing what the subject is. Ie de ie to the house. Hon de hon on nomimasu. Yomimasu. Because the verb is always at the end. Yomimasu means read. So, I read books at home. Man, dude, this shit is fucking fascinating. Ga. Ga marks the grammatical subject of a sentence when it is first introduced to a conversation. It can also be used to join sentences like the word, but, but, that is, blank is technically a different word. The particle, ga, can, wait, oh, I knew I heard ga. The particle ga can also be used to emphasize the subject or distinguish it from others while, what was that, me, is used when a question, word, who, where, etc. comes after the topic, the sentence, blah, blah, blah. We use the particle ga when the question, word, is the subject part of it. Dare ga kimasu ga? Who will come? Marks the grammatical subject. That didn't make too much sense to me. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't. I didn't really. That didn't really clear anything up for me. It's almost like a like a conqueror words marked with ga stake their claim on the sentence and the verb in particular making a definite claim of ownership. This difference is why when looking at a picture of several cute girls, a young man might point his finger at one and say, Watashi wa kanojo de na da ne. I mean, I like her, but he could not say Watashi ga kanojo da, which would have, which would mean I am her. Because ga would specifically link him to being the verb. Oh, well, that kind of makes sense. It links you to the verb. You'd have to know whatever the verb is. So, dare ga kimimasu ga? And then you'd say... Would you just say, watashi ga kimimasu? Would that be what you would say? Like... Because if you say, Dare ga kimasu, and you're like, oh, watashi ga kimasu, and then you're like, oh, I'll come. I assume. I'm not really doing a lot of Rosetta Sun today. I'm, I'm, I'm really, you know, I, I like, I like reading these things because they're actually very, okay, let me, okay, well, I'll get back to that because I do want to read those. I'm sorry, Chad. I just, I know, I'm, I know everyone's here for the fucking Rosetta Sun shit, but like, this, this shit is, like, actually fascinating to me, so that's why I take, that's why I like reading it. I'm sorry. Plus, it's good to know the particles. Ga, wa, de, ni, na, ara, koen, de. So, I'm just, just chat, 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 listen.
I'm just going to read there, right? So there is used to indicate the location of an action. The performer of the location, the subject is followed by either the particles wa or ga, and the place is followed by de. However, it can be used with the verbs e, uh, o, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. So location plus de. So what tashi wa ie de. So that's why this is, so boku wa koen, so location plus de, because you wouldn't add another wa. So, because you already have the subject, boku, the boy. Oh, that's him, that's him saying it, so, because it's a little boy saying it, boku, he's referring to himself, he's the subject. I wa koen to the park, de asonde mas. I am playing at the park. Watashi wa wa koen de asonde imasu. Gakko. Watashi wa gakko. Hataraite imasu. So, watashi wa is the subject. Gakko is the school. And if you have the location, you always would add de after it. If you have any kind of location. So, watashi wa gakko de hataraite imasu. Hataraite means working. So, watashi being the subject and Japanese being a subject, uh, object, verb. Verb always comes, you know, always being at the end. So, watashi wa ai gakko school de. And de doesn't mean anything, it just means you just use it to indicate. Yeah. I read books at home. So, Watashi, I read books at home. But de doesn't mean anything. That, that's, I read books home, you just, you just infer that the at is there, you know. So, de doesn't mean anything, you just use it in between a location and whatever you're referring to. So, watashi wa gakko de hataraite imasu. I, I work at a school, or I'm working at a school, or at a or the school. Watashi wa gakko de hataraite imasu. Hono sensei wa... Hono sensei wa gakko. Again, same thing here. You're having Kono Sensei wa, and what was, weren't we just on Kono? Or Kono means this, but it just refers to the closeness to where the subject is speaking, you know? So, Kore means really close, like Kore wa nan desu ka? Like, what is this that I'm holding? You know, if I was holding this, like, oh, kore wa nan desu ka? Like, what is this pen? Or what is this? And then, and so we be like, oh, kore wa pen desu. And kono sensei, because, you know, it's further from the speaker. So, kono sensei wa gakko de hataraite This teacher war is working at school, this teacher works at a school, or works at the school, or works at a school. Kono sensei wa gakkou de hataraite imasu. Kanojo wa soto de hashite. So again, subject, object, verb. Girl, the, the woman outside running. The woman runs outside. The woman is running outside. Kanojo wa soto de so that is Kodomo Tachiwa Oh never mind. It's Okonoko Tachiwa Goha no Tabete Imas because it always follows a noun or the object. So what is happening? Gohan the their rice or their meal 
o t a b e t e i m a s This one is going to be Kazoku wa sote de. I don't know. Oh, wait, it's right here. Kazoku wa sote soto de. Because you have, you know, the family and the place, so you always add the de. As, asa gohan no tabete imas. Asa gohan being the object. O tabete imas. This one is going to be watashi wa. So, okay. So, this one is. Because this one is not there. So. Uh. Watashi no. So, Watashi no. I want to say like. Watashi no ototo de. Watashi no ototo. Subject Watashi no itoto. Ototo. Or would just. Would the brother just be. Because why would you say, well, I mean, it could be my brother. So, Ototo. I already know they want Nekutai o Shite imasu, right? So, what would you use Watashi no Ototo? Nekutai o shite imas. Kare wa nekutai o. This is an example from his episode. Kare wa nekutai o shite imas. He's wearing a necktie. I learned previously that kite is used for articles of clothing worn above the waist, and haite is worn for below. Why is there a special one using shite? I know it is possible to say, uh, for accessories, rings, necklaces, colorful, colorful bracelets, and people wear that people wear nowadays, you use that. Yes, I remember when I started learning rings, you had to use a different verb, and it may seem, and it, but that seems to be over now. Kare wa nektai o kite imasu is incorrect. In Japanese, you have to change the verb according to the object of which you wear. For wear clothes, fuku, fuku o kiru. Wear shoes, kutsu o haku. Wear skirt, skato o haku. Wear pants, zubon o haku. Wear sock, wear stockings. Kutsushita wa haku. Wear a sweater. Seta wa kiru. Wear a shirt. Satsu. Shatsu. Shatsu o kiru. Wear a bra. Buraya. Buraya wa tukuru. Tukeru. Wear a necktie. Nekutai wo suru o nekutai wo shimeru. Huh. So this one is just gonna be kare wa nekutai wo shite imasu. God damn it. And that this one's obviously, uh, watashi wa asa o asa koki o nomimasu. I drink coffee in the morning. Thank <music> you.
男の子たちはご飯を食べています。Okay, no more reading, because I'm. I'm... Right, because you say my brother, then you make the brother the subject by adding wa. Oh, I get it. I fucking get it. That actually just. I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. Watashi no ototo wa nektai wo shite imasu. Because nektai. Watashi no ototo wa nektai wo shite imasu. And then, watashi wa asa. コーヒーを飲みます。私は朝コーヒーを飲みます。I coffee drink. I morning coffee drink. I drink coffee in the morning. 朝です。子供たちは朝ごはん食べています。So, 朝ごはん is the object what is being described is and you know using it as a noun. So all、oh, tab. 朝です。子供たちは朝ごはんを食べています。彼女は,彼女は外,外。昼ごはんを食べています。彼女は外で、昼ごはんを食べています。彼女は外で、昼ごはんを食べています。私は靴履いています。So, 私は靴、so, my shoes, or I, shoe, を履いています。私は靴を履いています。And, 靴 is the object, so it's followed by O.、Oh. Oh. 私は靴を履いています。So, I'm wearing shoes. 私はカフェ。コーヒーを飲みます。So, so, 私はカフェ。So, you said you're just saying I, cafe, kohi, or no m i m a s But, so, ko, cafe is、uh, the object or the noun, so it's followed by o.、Oh. Is it not? Oh, place, and you're using that as a location. No, I'm an idiot. I need to think about that. I'm sorry. I'm a big old fucking. Dummy. It's you. It's you. When? Yeah, when? When do you work? Uh, so, what does she want? That's the morning. What does she want? Asa, what does she want? And then, Doko, de, Doko, Doko, de, Kohi, or no, we must. Doesn't it mean like doko? Doko means like where? Or when? No, itsu. When in doko. Where? See, I fucking knew it. When? Where? So, where? Where do you drink coffee? When do you work? Okay, he's saying, Watashi wa asa hataraite i m a s I work. Watashi wa asa hataraite i m a s Doko de kohi o no mi maska? Watashi wa. Cafe de oh, where do you drink coffee? Watashi wa cafe de kohi o no mimas. I drink coffee at the cafe. Watashi wa cafe de kohi o no mimas. Um, oh, shikoto, shikoto no mai ni aso, aso, asa gohan o tabete. So she's saying, 
いつは朝ごはんを食べています。When did you eat breakfast? いつ朝ごはんを食べますか私は仕事の前に朝ごはんを食べます。働いていますか So, when do you work or where do you work? Ah! He d o so that's a time, so he's always saying, when do you work? いつ働いていますか、uh. 私は昼働いています。So、he works in the afternoon. で働いていますか So, this one is when or where do you work? And again, she's saying, Watashi wa k o w e n de h a t a r a i t e m a s So that's where do you work? Because she's saying where she works. Doko de h a t a r a i t e m a s k I work. Watashi wa k o w e n de h a t a r a i t e m a s k o h i o n o m i m a s k a Watashi wa yukata k o h i o n o m i m a s So she's saying when did you drink? いつコーヒーを飲みますか私は夕方コーヒーを飲みます。I drink coffee in the afternoon. Or, 夕方 is the evening, so I drink coffee in the evening. 私の弟です。So, 私の弟です。わ私のお父さんです。あ、紫、そう。そう。男の子は靴紫あ紫そう男の子は紫の靴下は履いています。Right? Oh, 靴,靴下を履いています。So, Otoko no Koa, Murasaki no Murasaki no Kutsushita o Haid o Haide Mus, I believe. And then, Watashi no Shimai des. Watashi no Shimai de Kare no Kutsushita wa Murasaki des. Oh, what Kare no Kutsushita wa. His socks and the socks are becoming the 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 subject. Okay, we'll we'll read that after this. I know Kutsustawa Murasaki does his socks. Are oh my my dad is wearing a suit. Oh oh so pretty lady. Fucking really moving up this world, aren't you? Well, meanwhile, he's getting, making up getting a bank, bitch. So she's saying these are my brothers, so watashi no kyodai des. This is watashi no imoto des, my sister. Watashi no ototo wa, my brother. Brother's becoming the subject. Nektai wo shite imasu. Kare. So. He, kare wa seta, no, kare no seta wa, because the, se, the sweater is becoming the subject. So, kare no seta wa hairo des. His sweater is purple. Watashi no kyodai des. Watashi. Watashi no imoto des. Watashi. What's the name of this? I'm just going to read probably the rest of this article and then that's going to be in the stream because I, I completely lost track of time because of reading that. I was just, I was just, I was just in another goddamn world, boys. I'm sorry. Really, really screwed the p o o c h i n o w I tried to get two done today, but I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm curious to be. I don't know if I have to watch ball s p a c e today, so. So, we didn't read how you use ga, but. Ga marks grammatical subject of the sentence. Alright! 
It makes you connected to the verb. Kutsushita wa haite imasu ka? Kutsu wa haite imasu ka? Kutsushita wa haite imasen. Marks the grammatical subject of the sentence. When it is first introduced to a conversation, it also be used to join. Oh, it used to be join sentences like the word "bun." So that's what it's using here. Kutsushita wa haite imas, but kutsushita wa haite imasen. So kutsushita wa haite imas ka. Kutsushita wa haite imasen. So I am wearing shoes, but not so. Kutsuto kutsushita wa haite imas. So shoes. And socks. I'm wearing. I'm wearing shoes and socks. Kutsushita wa haite imasu ga kutsu wa haite imasen. So she's saying, I'm wearing socks, but I'm not wearing shoes, lady. Why are you in my house? How the fuck did you get in here, anyways? Like, suits wa kite imasu. Ga, nektai wa shite imasen. So he's like, I am wearing a suit, but I'm not wearing a tie. Suits wa kite imasu ga. Coat wa motte imasu. Ga. Coat wa motte imasu. So I'm holding a coat, but I'm not. I'm not holding a. I'm not holding a tie. Coat wa motte imasu ga. Kutsu wa motte imasu. Kutsu shita to kutsu shita. Kutsu wo haite imasu. Kutsu wo haite imasu ka? So wear socks and shoes. Kutsushita to kutsu wo haite imasu ka? Wear your socks and shoes. Kutsushita wa haite imasu. Oh, are you wearing socks and shoes? And she's like, haite imasu. She's like, kutsu wo kutsushita wa haite imasu. Ka. Kutsushita wa haite imasu ga. Kutsu wo haite imasu. Hold, stand there. She's like, what? And then, what's gonna happen to her? Watashi wa. Shigoto no ato ni yu gohan o tabemasu. So, watashi wa shigoto work no ato ni. I don't really know if they use no, but I'll, well, I'll, I'll read that before the, we end the stream today. Watashi wa shigoto no ato ni yu gohan o tabemasu. So, you go on. That is, that is dinner. Uh, so, watashi wa shigoto no ato ni you go on no tabete imasu. So I, uh, no ato ni. So that's. So it's I work. Wait. Oh, because this is the 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 object right here. Subject, object, verb. So I. What's up? Thought I heard knocking, but so I thought she was she got to no ato ni, you go handle tabete mas. So he's obviously saying I work after I eat dinner. Oh, cause this is the last, and then I work after I eat dinner. So I, huh? Let me go make sure that. Let's see. Hi, Kuto. Hi, Kuto. Hi, Kuto. Hi,
彼は夕ご飯の後にコーヒー彼,は彼らは夕ご飯の後にコーヒー So they drink coffee after dinner So she got to know my ni asa go han o tabete ma. So I work. Hmm. I eat breakfast before work. So this sentence is、uh, before I go to work. So, this one is I eat dinner after working. Oh, because this is what. Yeah. Huh? Oh. 14は13の後に、so after 来ます。So 14, 14 comes after 13.19 19は20の前に来ます。19 comes before 20. 19は20の前に来ます。彼は仕事の。はい。か I really have to use the restroom, so I'm just trying to get it out. I'm going to use this. Read that real quick and then go use the restroom. And then... No, my 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 no, ジュー17は18の前17は18の前に来ます彼らは夕ご飯の後コーヒーを飲みます So there So that sentence is 彼らは夕ご飯の後にコーヒーを飲みます So they drink coffee.、Uh, they drink coffee after. Yeah, so they drink coffee after dinner. Karela wa yu go han no ato ni kohi o no mi mas. Yeah, I got, I got sloppy with one of them, but that's fine. I'm definitely gonna do this one, and then probably this one, and then this tomorrow. Because, you know, this, this one's gonna be. But this one's gonna be、uh, beefy. So let me, let me read. Let me finish reading this.、Uh, kata. Kata indicates the source of an object or an action. This starting position may either be a point in space. In which the case is transplanted as from, or as a point in time, in which case it is translated as since or after. So a noun plus kata. Kako kata ie made made dore kurai kakari maska. So school. The so, school from the house. Made dokure dore dore kurai kakarimas. How long does it take to get to school? Oh, how long does it take to get home from school? 
Mother. Mother indicates that an action such effect extends or reaches a specified limit or a point in time made or time or space. It is therefore equivalent to the English until. Now plus mother. Kanojo to shichiji made dorabi do doraibu shita shimashita. So Kanojo to shichiji made dorabu doraibu shimashita. I was driving around with my girlfriend until 7 o'clock. Doraibu. Is it is that really driving? To. To is used to join nouns together into an ex exhaustive list that functions as a single noun with an end. It also is the part it's also the particle used to indicate a direct quote from someone's mind or speech, functioning like a Quotation mark. Noun plus to plus more nouns. So, niku to sakana ga suki desu. I like meat and fish. Ya. Ya is used in the same way as the first sense. Oh, this list is not exhaustive. It means such as things A plus B and C. Oh. Akaya kiro no hana ga saite sataita saite da saite da. There are red, yellow, and other colored flowers. No indicates possession, functioning like the English F oh, apostrophes. Oh, that's all it is. In the structure A, no, B belongs to A. However, many nouns act like adjectives when followed by no. It directly follows nouns and nouns phrases. Object one, no. Object two, anata no namai wa nan desu So you, comma, name. What is? What is your name? Anata no namae wa na, nan desu ka? Ne. Ne is used at the end of the sentence basically in the same way as an English tag question. If said with rising intonate, uh, intonation, it indicates a request for confirmation from the listener, i.e. it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Whereas, it said with the following intonation, it is used as a rhetorical device. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? End of sentence plus ne. Kore wa oishi desu ne. Kore wa oishi desu ne. This is delicious, isn't it? Yo, yo is used is used by the speaker to express a strong conviction about something. Or emphatically declare something. Ah, uh, aishita wa aishita watashi wa iku yo. I go tomorrow. I'll go tomorrow. Okay, let's let's do this. Oh wait, I wish I could read this. Yeah, I, I appreciate you putting all the kanji there, but I don't can Okay, well, thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back here shortly if I don't have to watch Boss Baby, probably to play some video games or something. Because, you know, I like doing that. Thank you all so much for watching. I love each and every single last one of you. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream. If, uh, if you liked what you saw, fucking don't hit the follow button. I don't care. It's up to you. I just want you all to enjoy the rest of your day because I love you each and every single one of you very much and I will 
See you later.